Hello everyone, welcome to Bob's Den and this is Bob from TrueOnlineRiches.com. If you are watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you've been driven crazy by one of those pop-up ads or those internet advertisements which follows you all around online. Here are some few tips that can help you to get rid of it. But please make sure that you share this video because there are, I, I know a lot of people who looks for this information and at one point I was driven crazy and was too much annoyed. I'll take you to my computer screen right now and I'll come back to you. All right, now we can go ahead and clean up the problem here. So I'm going to show different methods here. The first one we being the fastest and the uh, accurate one you should be doing. So I'm going to do that um, first and we'll see the other methods uh, later after this uh, to clean up your computer from any other if there is any other files left left over all right so for example I'm uh, for this example I'm going to uh, do it on my Chrome browser uh, I guess I think uh, it, it'll be the same for all browsers like um, in Internet Explorer or Firefox what we're gonna do is uh, to go and uninstall the plugin or delete the plugin which causes the problem it could be either plugins or add-ons or I don't it, it the the word differs in different uh, web browsers so for Chrome browser here you gotta go to the oh, actually you have to open up a new tab here and go to the right hand side right at right upper corner to bring down this menu here uh, for settings so click on settings and to your left hand side you can see under this Chrome headline there's extensions and when you click that it'll open up uh, it'll give you a list of all the extensions you have in your computer I just have uh, one plugins one plugin as you can see it's Google Docs here so go ahead and find what plugin is causing the problem for you it could be either we download free download manager search me click savings uh, I mean slick savings world clock what you have to do if you don't know what which which particular plugin is causing your problem the way to do is go uh, go ahead and un uncheck the enable button and restart your Chrome browser and see if you still have the problem if you still have it come back and uh, enable whatever um, enable the plugin you disabled and look for another one okay so uh, what you have to look for now is from your plugins list go ahead and uh, look for we download or free download manager since I don't have that in here I cannot show you but that's how you should do uh, disable it and delete it from your browser all right and uh, restart your Chrome browser after that and you'll be good to go but if you're not sure how it looks like maybe I can go to the uh, find more extensions page and search for it to show you how it looks like so right now I'm going to search for free download manager download manager and hit enter and here it is so it should look like this right now when I'm recording this video I don't know when you're uh, watching this video so it dif it could differ at the point of time when you're uh, looking at this video so this is how uh, the free download manager Chrome extension should look like and if we go type we download which is another adware which causes a lot of annoying problems I cannot find we download I cannot find it but uh, make sure you um, um, try this first and make sure you watch this full video because I'm going to give you some, um, some tips on how to prevent this from happening so this is the first method uh, pause this video and uh, try that all right the second method here is to see if there is any other programs running in your computer on uh, in your background which could cause future troubles the first method there uh, should have already cleared your I believe it helped but you can still you may or may not do um, do this second method but I, w I would recommend that you go ahead and do this one as well so that you can make sure there is nothing no other programs running in the background okay so this is to uninstall any any other um, adware or malware pro programs which could be present in your computer so what you have to do is um, 
you'll have to go to your control panel I'm already in, your, in my control panel I'm running Windows 8 on this computer so it could be different from yours uh, but all you have to do is to click on start button and go to control panel if you're using 7 or Vista or XP but uh, if, it, if you're also using Windows 8 all you have to do is to move your uh, cursor to your um, right hand upper corner and it'll bring up the settings um, menu and from that si settings uh, click control panel alright anyways I'm on my control panel and go ahead and click the programs and features link and it'll pull up all the programs in your computer and what you'll have to do is uh, like I mentioned before go through take your time and go through all the programs here and if you see any but not don't uninstall any programs yet because uh, you really have to be careful uh, we don't want to be we don't want to uninstall any useful programs which could which could uh, cause problems if if uninstalled right so all you have to do is uh, take your time and go through all these programs and make sure you know all these what these programs are if you're suspicious if you see uh, these kind of files don't go don't think it's a virus or something because it uh, these are all programs which which is needed for a healthy running of your computer right so uh, I don't have any malwares or adwares in this computer I'm using so I cannot show you if any but you uh, like I mentioned before uh, you can go ahead and look for we download or uh, free download manager or free download or something like that there will be all kinda names for those kinda malwares so yeah so all you have to do is if you find one before you uninstall it go ahead and do a google search and make sure you're uninstalling the right program and all you have to do is select whatever program you have um, uh, seen and go and click the uninstall like it should right click and uninstall that should clean up the uh, computer from any other future damages or future uh, automatic downloads alright I hope that the previous methods helped you guys third method here I'm going to show you how to turn on your pop-up blocker in your computer so that you won't get that annoying pop-up ads uh, while browsing so all you have to do is to go to your control panel again and look for network and internet click on internet options and it will bring up a window like this and click on privacy here and when you go all the way down uh, you can see here there's an option for uh, to turn on pop-up blocker okay now mine is already checked and my, uh, mine is already turned on I mean so if yours is not go ahead and turn it on uh, click apply and OK alright that should uh, help you with your pop-up blocker in your computer and you'll be good to go <laughs>